did you see the the hot topic recently with Pak Jokowi? He's visited Lampung. Okay. Because all that hot viral press about the Lampung roads being not so great. Right, there, right. There was a guy called Beamer who yeah. made the popular. Oh my God! Look at look at the state of my roads. It's terrible. Go fix it up. So what did Jokowi do? Jokowi took a drive on those roads mm -hmm. and basically he agreed. <laughs> <laughs> There's footage of, of his car getting stuck. Oh, no. So Pak Chico is there going, yeah, this is not exactly good. And so he's basically told the Lampung government that, hey, if you're not going to fix this road, the federal government will fix it. We'll provide the money right. to fix it. Mm -hmm. But it all came from one viral video. Yeah. So that's pretty they impressive. Got the out there. What about you? You've had a few road issues um, here? The roads, when I first came to Indonesia in 2011, 2012, 2013, when I was up in Maidan, Mm. The roads out to like Bukit Lawang, where we talked about last time, or out to mm. Lake Toba, were quite quite rough. I've taken that road. Yeah, yeah, right? it's, yeah. it's quite. I mean, Agreed. back then it was bad. Yeah. Um, recently, it's been updated because uh, the government's trying to promote Sumatra Utara and uh, yeah. Lake Toba and all that stuff to be you know more of a tourist destination. So they really cleaned up the roads and made them look nice. So even if you saw it now and they're they're not great, yeah. they're a hundred times better than they were back in you know. 2011, 2012. You know what? People say that about Jakarta. I've had a mate who lived here 10 years ago, and and I asked him, how come you came back to Jakarta? He said, I love it here now. Mm -hmm. And I said, what's great about it now from 10 years ago? Because yeah. things have improved so much. The roads have improved so much. So I'm like, wow, okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's good that it's improved. Well, the problem is they improve, and the next thing you know, all the trucks drive over it, and mm. they just start cutting it up. I mean, it's... Mm. And sometimes, you know, those motorbike trips where I took where the roads are really bad, they could be mm. kind of fun, you know, doing the whole, like, weaving in and out of the <laughs> potholes and... No? <laughs> fun, not fun? Eh? Well, I remember going Keeps to... Keeps you awake, at least. I went from Madan to Bukit Lawang once, yeah. once, and I thought it was like, okay, this is a two-hour trip. It was four hours, yeah, and I was just no, avoiding was potholes the, the whole time. Yeah, I'm like, is this it? It's is a this game. It? It's a game. Uh, okay. And as okay. long as you're careful, I mean, the the one thing about that is, is you know, yeah, if you have holes in the road or you have construction going on, obviously mm. the concern is when you have things like landslides. It happens quite a bit. And, yeah. You know, so that's something that we try to avoid when you're on the motorbike trip is being too close to the to yeah. side. Have you ever been fined by the police here? Have I ever been fined by the police? Um. Yes, I have. You have. I have. You're in the bad been, books. Well, I've been... I'm a bad boule. No, I'm trying to be a better boule. <laughs> um, I have been pulled over before. Yeah. And sometimes I'm like, are they pulling me over just to have a conversation with me? Because sometimes, every time I get pulled over, it's like a 20-minute conversation. <laughs> you know, come with... Darimana, you know, you know, what are you doing here? You know, where do you live? I'm like, what? Mm. What do you want to know where I live? <laughs> So it's always this long conversation that goes on. Yeah. And um, yeah, but one time, only once, did I actually get like a, a fine because I really did something wrong. I mm. um, It was a, um, you can't make a left turn on a, on red. Oh. And I made a left turn on red. The Belokiri. Yeah. Well, it was Belokiri. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. It wasn't. So I oh, it wasn't. I went left and it was a red light and I was right in front of a school too. Not I don't mm. think that really matters here. Mm. But uh, yeah. Yeah. Guy, a uh, cop came up behind. Cop? Do you call him cops here? <laughs> Police. This copper, he came up behind me and he's like, "Hey, pull over." <laughs> That's how we talk. You talk just like that. No. <laughs> so he pulled me over, and yeah, he uh, he said, "You know, you're not allowed to make that left turn." I was very apologetic. I'm yeah. like, you know, mistakes happen. Mistakes happen, yeah. and uh, so yeah, it was like a hundred thousand or something. I don't go in underneath a tent. Okay, so it was official. You it was official. Oh, I filled out a and... form. I signed okay. everything. Yeah. yeah. That, that interests me, the whole official fine versus maybe the unofficial fine. The unofficial Are we allowed to call that a bribe? I think that's the word yeah. for it. Yeah. I remember when I first came on my first trip to Bali, I got pulled over by the police. I wasn't wearing the helmet. Sorry. And I thought, oh, here's the moment where I, I slipped the copper some, mm. some cash. Mm. Uh, uh, and, and he just goes, okay. Thank you, and on your merry, on your merry oh, way. Right. It didn't happen. It didn't happen, yeah. I was happen, like, yeah. okay, you're supposed to take this and go, right? Right. No, he, he brought me into the police little hut there on the yeah. corner, and I'm filling out a form, and I was like, hey, I just want to say, I've heard rumors about Balinese police, but you're doing the right thing, and I'm very happy to pay you because you're filling out the form correctly. Yeah. This money's probably going to go. I was, you guys tip the police officer? I was No, I actually <laughs> called him out to saying, this is a good job, buddy. You're, you're breaking down the stereotype of uh, yeah. someone who's taken fines here or taken bribes. Yeah, yeah, yeah.